What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I figured this would be a good time to film like a week in the life versus a day in the life because I feel like sometimes my days are a little repetitive. Um, so I figured showing you like a week in the life you get to see some things that I don't typically get to show you guys. And so today is Sunday. Wade and I have already gone to church. We got some work done. I'm cleaning out storage on my computer. And so while that's doing its thing, I'm working on baby girl's wallpaper. Um, you guys don't know this, but our first attempt at this was a miserable fail. So I actually got detailed instructions this time from the company. This is Wall Blush. This is who we're using for our wallpaper. Um, it's an abstract wallpaper as well, so there's no like really detail to it, but it has all of the colors to her room that I'm excited to use. And so right now I'm just cutting out the panels laying them out in the order at which they're going to go on this wall and that's it and hopefully we start applying it to the wall today but yeah The panels are cut and ready. We are already improving because we have a step stool and we actually have tools to smooth out the wallpaper, not just with a hand or a credit card. So we're already ahead of the game and now it's time for installation. How are we feeling? Confidence? I feel like Tim the Tool Man Taylor <laughs> and it's about to get real up in here y'all. Y'all stay tuned, it's about to get wild. Yeah. I have no fear, my love. You don't need to worry. I'm a sporter, man. Okay, how are you feeling about it? Feeling good, feeling good, champ. Okay, so then now grab the backing and pull down just a little bit more up at the top. We have reached a big, big win. We got past the part of the wall where we miserably failed last time. We did it. This is huge. We only have three more pieces to put up. Two more pieces, six, three pieces to put up. And then we're done. All right, you guys. We are still working on this wallpaper. Wade takes a break almost every panel, which is fine. He's doing all the heavy duty work of getting up there and smoothing it out and stuff. And we got past the fifth panel that gave us such a hard time last time and we cheered. And then the very next panel, I don't know what we did, but as we were getting towards the bottom, we realized the edges weren't going to touch. And I was like, oh my gosh, like it, it, I had to leave the room. I was getting mad, I was getting grumpy. I was like, this is not cool. We literally had to do pretty much, I'm looking at it right now, you can't really tell, but I had to do over half the strip, cut the rest of that strip off to shift it over like less than half an inch and put the rest down so there wouldn't be like a gap between the two panels. I'm thinking her crib is gonna cover up a lot of it anyways, that I'm gonna try and make it like that. 
but we have about a panel and a half left and then we're officially done with this wallpaper and I just this has been my whole Sunday and in between panels like I've been getting coaching work done I've been doing laundry so trying to stay busy it's been a crazy Sunday but to those of you who watch my YouTube channel this will be your first sneak peek of the wallpaper fully done because I'm not going to show Instagram or anything like that until like her room is pretty much complete so yeah so hang in there we're almost done is her wallpaper is done wow I'm gonna have to show you guys tomorrow on Monday with the natural lighting but it's finally complete and it actually looks pretty good I'm never doing wallpaper again though. Hard, hard pass. Forever painting walls for the rest of my life. <laughs> heading to the gym today is leg day for me are you doing legs have you decided uh, probably and for Wade as well we're both doing legs today so I'm gonna take you guys through a leg workout at 35 weeks pregnant so I ain't doing anything crazy but my workouts are still pretty good even if you're not a super heavy lifter or an intense lifter they're still good for you so we're gonna take you guys through that and carry on with this beautiful day It is like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock today on Monday. Um, I've pretty much have been working on my computer, doing some laundry. I washed all of baby girl's blankets. They're in the dryer. So I'm going to fold those up here soon. I want to start washing her clothes. And I forgot that we already have some clothes here. So I got to get the tags off of these so I can throw them in the wash also. And then there's another like a little bit of clothes and Wade's car that I have to go through as well. I'm just gonna start washing, folding, organizing her drawers. The next big project in this room is probably gonna be to clean out this closet back here because we stored stuff in there from when we moved here over a year ago. So I have to clean that out so I can make room for her stuff. And Wade and I, well Wade's actually done a really good job of like getting the garage ready to clean out again. Um, so hopefully when that's done, we can put more things in there so we can make more room for baby girl. But yeah, it's just been a really busy day. And 
I see you guys see me do computer work all the time and so I didn't want to like have y'all just watch me do the same things over and over but look how cute this is for her to sleep in you guys how six to nine months how is she gonna get this big she's not gonna get that big but I'm gonna go through these get the tags off ready to wash like look how cute and I love it because everybody who's gotten me things they know that like I, I like a lot of neutrals so nothing is too like crazy look at the little fruits oh my gosh and then this one so you guys I for those of you who've been around for a long time you know this I went to U of H go Cougs and Wade's family are big Seminole fans so of course dad if you're watching this they got her Seminole onesies I'm sorry. I'm going to get her a U of H onesie or a few, and she's just going to rotate between games. What would be really cute is if I could find a onesie that's half U of H, half Seminole. I think that would be pretty cute. But, yeah, I'm going to continue doing this. And when I get her blankets out, like, I'll show you guys some of them because they're so freaking cute. And that's all that we're doing this Monday. It's just cleaning, organizing, getting ready for baby girl because we're, like, 35 and a half weeks in already. got off of Amazon um, and I wanted to tell you guys the brand or the style that I got because they're actually super soft I just washed them and they still feel super soft I got these they're called Lulu Moon Store is where they're from and they're muslin crib sheets so they're like these textured like waffle kind of rib textured crib sheets but they feel really good really soft these ones I actually am really glad that I got because they stayed soft even after the wash. Um, these are bamboo crib sheets. So I got this. It's the Cameo pack. So it came in a set of two. It's like a nude and then like a cream color. I'm going to put this one on her crib. Finally putting a sheet on the crib. But I got those and I'm going to link my storefront, my Amazon storefront in the description. So... You guys can see all of my baby must-haves, nursery must-haves, so if you guys need inspiration um, or see the products that I like that I'm actually using for this pregnancy, it's all going to be there. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Those are her sheets. And then these are all just like little muslin blankets, like a Sherpa blanket, a lot of pink, a lot of pink. Crazy story, my parents got this one. And it has like little mini roses all over it. And it's Ralph Lauren. And I had a blanket just like this when I was a baby. I don't know where it went, but it was this exact pattern. And so I think that's so sweet that baby girl's going to get to have the same pattern as mommy. So cool. But these are all her little blankets. And then I went in the closet and I found more blankets. So I'm going to have to do multiple loads of laundry, but that's okay. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This one might come with us to the... To the hospital so I can wrap her up in it. We'll see. But I'm gonna proceed with folding and then it's time for dinner. We could go with this. sheet on made my eyes water but 
I told you guys that if you're gonna watch This Week in the Life, you are the lucky few that are gonna get a sneak peek of what we've done for Baby Girl's room so far. So I'm gonna show you guys what we've done, walk you through it. Links will be in the description box. Let's do it. This is as you walk in. Okay, we're putting stuff on the wall here so this isn't done. This is the wall blush wallpaper we just installed yesterday. Here's her crib. This blanket was homemade by people from our church. This couple, they're really great. Love them. They made this for her. This is Diana the dinosaur from uh, Baby Girl's only cousin right now, Maya. She's great. We just put the sheet on. And then this is her crib. Amazon rocker, rocker side table, Amazon. We got her little ultrasound pick, which we're gonna update with a new one. Her little shoes. And then we got her floor mat in already. House of Noah, it's beautiful. And then her dresser, please ignore the chaos. This is hospital bag stuff. This, I just ordered her changing table basket, which is gonna go right there. We're gonna put a mirror up here, and this corner is gonna be probably like a ladder type thing to hold her blankets or a plant, I don't know, but something to hold her stuff. Then we're gonna put a lamp in this corner so I can just hold her and rock her in here so it's not so dark. And I mean, that's really it. It's just kind of tying it all together, so. So it's still Monday. Wade is making some Texas sheet cake over there. If you don't know what that cake is, I, I feel sorry for you. It was his groom's cake. My mom set, or I ordered boxes off Amazon because they're so good, they're from H-E-B. Let me show you guys the box so you can. This is it. If you love chocolate cakes, this is, you'll be obsessed, so try this. Um, but the real reason why I wanted to vlog right now is because we wanted to, we got this like little pack and play kind of thing from Wade's mom, and it's great. We're really excited to have it downstairs like for changing purposes and stuff so we don't have to go up and down the stairs, but we are having the hardest time <laughs> like getting these things to lock, and I said, wow, this is like typical first parent, first time parent stuff, and so we're gonna YouTube it and hopefully figure it out because there's it's a lot of chaos going on down there, if you can see that, so. That's what we're doing tonight. Like how? <laughs> so you guys, I've actually never watched YouTube videos to build things. I'm normally pretty good about reading instructions, but this is literally, one, this book is way too thick, I feel, for the amount of stuff that needs to be assembled here. I don't think it needs to be this thick. But granted, it is a lot of like warnings and safety things. And yeah, I just, I'm also used to like Amazon instructions, having like pictures, like I'm a picture learner, I guess, but this is a lot of words. So, I think this net is gonna go on the top part of the pin. The pin, like a pig pen, oh my God. On top of the, whatever. And then there's like this thing that I wanna say is like a changing pad. And then it has this cute little like, little bed spot for her to sleep in. So this is gonna be so great to keep downstairs so we don't have to go up and down. We can just change her here, let her nap down here for doing something. So much easier for friends to see her versus walking them up and down the stairs. So, this is gonna be good. You guys, it's done. There's a little mini bassinet right there, a changing pad. This can hold like, I'm probably gonna put like plastic bags in the middle to put her dirty diapers and stuff. And then look, it's done. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I just finished eating like a small breakfast. I ate a lot last night and this is like something that I'm, like this has happened to me twice in the last week, is that I eat way too much in one sitting and then I feel fine, but like an hour, 
to two hours later, like my stomach is in knots. I feel nauseous, like, and then baby girl's all frisky because I ate so much, so she's moving a ton, so I can't get comfortable. And that happened again last night, but last night was pretty terrible. Like I had to just sit up in bed and like keep breathing for what felt like forever until I eventually fell asleep. So my breakfast was very small this morning, just to kind of see how I'm feeling. But it's Tuesday. Um, we have a lot of plans today. I have a lot of computer work I have to catch up on and get ahead of the game for, especially coaching wise, because I feel like when baby girl's here, like it's gonna be pretty hard for me to balance everything, but I am confident that I can do it. And so I'm gonna start there and then I'm gonna finish washing anything else that needs to be washed in her room. I'm gonna unpack like all of her little toys and things like that and anything that needs to be washed or sanitized I'm gonna try and put into a separate bucket and then anything that's like good to go for her to play with I'm gonna put in a different one so I can kind of get the trash out of her room and have everything she needs laid out so I know where to put it how to store it because that's like other parts of her room that I haven't done yet is she doesn't have a lot of storage yet so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for that but that's on my list today and then Wade is gonna clean out the garage get rid of all the boxes and trash so we can transfer things downstairs that are in baby girl's room still. So it's kind of busy, but it's okay. Um, because she's almost here, like this stuff has to get done. So I'm gonna be sipping on my coffee and get to work on this coaching stuff. is 1220 already and I feel like I'm getting stuff done on my computer at a pretty slow pace I really need to pick it up just so I can get to my other things but I was hungry so here's breakfast slash lunch part two I guess a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich the turkey sausage egg white English muffin sandwich I take the cheese off because I, I my stomach does not like cheese and it's less fats for me because I'd rather get my fats elsewhere but yeah I'm gonna eat this drink some water, and then I'm gonna get back to my computer and then get on to some baby stuff, but gotta fuel up, you know? Look at all of baby girl's clothes. They're all washed, ready. I'm gonna organize them by, you know, the ages, newborn, however many months. She has in here, she has a couple of cute bows, so I'm gonna get those to the side so I can figure out where I'm gonna put them in here. And finally on to the, the fun stuff, the baby stuff. clothes because right now she's measuring kind of big so I feel like she might get to the three month clothes pretty fast I do want to get like a few more newborn like onesie pieces just for her to have in case you know for blowouts and things like that that I don't really care if she messes up because um, all of her ones right now are super cute so I want to get some like solid color just blowout specific <laughs> onesies but finish doing that her clothes are organized by piles on her dresser until I figure out where I want to put them, either in her closet or in her drawers. And now I'm going through the things from my hospital bag because that was something that I needed to have done just to see what I'm missing. Um, this is the hospital bag I got. I got it off Amazon. It's linked. Like I told you guys, I have an Amazon storefront and I linked everything from nursery needs to baby needs that I'm actually using. And this is one of them. 
So one, it's huge. Like this is gonna be a great weekender bag after baby's here. And it comes with all of these compartments with rag or like bags for shoes, um, toiletries, clothes. There's like four different bags in here. And this is how big it is again on the inside. And it has so many pockets in here. It has a USB uh, cord on the inside as well. So you can like charge up things if you need it. And the bottom is also a space for your shoes. So you can unzip it and put your shoes in the bottom. So I'm really excited for this bag. I feel like it's gonna be able to hold everything just fine. As far as what I'm packing, I've watched so many TikToks over what to bring to the hospital. And I didn't watch a lot of first time moms. I watched a lot of second, third, fourth time moms pack their hospital bag because I feel like I don't want to overpack and make myself anxious. So for starters, I have a comfortable robe. I have this like little purple sleep set. All these outfits and stuff I got off Amazon as well. Um, the robe is just to keep me comfortable to wear around the hospital. The This purple sleep set came with pants and shorts. This is likely to wear like after baby is born. Um, and the top actually has a hole on the chest part so you can breastfeed. So what you would do is you would pull this slip open and then there's a layer here that you can pull apart and you're able to breastfeed while, being, while keeping your shirt on if that's something that you want to do. I personally will probably stay covered up most of the time, but I got that. I got a pack of nursing bras off Amazon. This came with five bras, which is awesome. I'm gonna pack like three of them. And then I have my going home outfit, which is just this really breathable, lightweight, big t-shirt and shorts to wear. Um, I do have the pants just in case somebody said, you know, if you have to have a C-section, it's better to have like a low rise pant so it doesn't affect the incision and things like that. So that's why I have the pant option just in case I have to wear that home. Um, I obviously don't have an outfit picked to wear there because I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing at the time. Probably something super comfortable still, not that it matters. Baby stuff, I haven't picked out her like announcement muslin little blanket. I haven't picked out her outfit yet. I'm still working on that, but other things I wanted to pack for myself I saw to bring your breast pump, which I'm testing out this mom cozy breast pump that I got off Amazon. I did have like the super expensive, I don't even remember what it freaking is on my registry, but then I was like, you know, like I've seen a lot of people use this one and I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. So I'm going with this one and it's also wireless so I can just pump wherever I want. So I'm going to pack this in my hospital bag. And then another common thing I saw was a lot of Frida mom or Frida baby products. So I got these cooling pad liners for myself. I got these catch-all pads to put on my like underwear and stuff after delivery. And I'm gonna get the always brand uh, throwaway like women's diapers to wear after giving birth because I heard they're comfortable. They're like the best to use comfort wise because I mean I haven't had to wear anything like that ever so I'm going for comfort here guys so I still have to get those and then I went ahead and bit the bullet and got this Frida mom postpartum recovery kit off Amazon because I figured it has everything in here that in case I'm missing something it's in this box so it came with the cleanser bottle which I already have everybody said a must is getting your own um Frida cleanse bottle to spray up in there so I got my own literally that was on everybody's hospital bag list was that so I got that already the disposable postpartum underwear the cool and observe maxi pads which I also have the liners and stuff already the cooling pad liners which again I have so I have double and then perennial healing foam so it literally has all the above to like really help soothe down there post pregnant post baby delivery so Went ahead and got that kit. I'm gonna take the stuff out of it, put it in my hospital bag. And I'm trying to think what else I need. I know for baby, I'm packing a pacifier or two. I'm packing a bottle or two, just in case something is off with like breastfeeding. I just wanna make sure that she's getting something from me. Hence, packing the pump and a bottle just in case. I do wanna breastfeed, but you never know and I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm packing a bottle 
And then I got this little like gift box off of baby list after I made my registry. So I'm going through here, see what they gave me that I can take to a uh, delivery day in my hospital bag as well. So that's the process right now. And even just listing all of that, I feel like I'm missing things. I am packing slides. People said pack slippers and hot and like shower slides. I will pack some slides, but I'm going to pack fuzzy socks. I don't want to wear slippers. I'd rather just wear fuzzy socks in my slides. So I'm going to do that. Pack towels. So I'm going to bring a dark towel with me and whatever else. Honestly, once it's all fully packed and done, I'll probably show it again in a different YouTube video like later on. But that's the task at hand right now is seeing what we have and seeing what we need for the hospital. We took a small break. Well, I took a small break from fixing up baby girl's room and stuff. And then we got two Target gift cards from the baby shower. So we we're actually gonna run to Target to use them solely on her. Trying to find things that I feel like we're missing or need. And then we're gonna go to the bookstore because there's a book he wants. And then we're gonna get some frozen yogurt. Because who doesn't like dessert before dinner? You're crazy. Crazy. So, I'm taking you guys with us. We got you, bro. Oh my gosh, come on, that very. Oh yeah, look at this one. Bring it around. <laughs> So there's two types of people. Mine's always this simple, crunchy, fruity, chocolatey concoction, and then you got Wade. <laughs> Walking around Target. Ooh, we're targeting. Targeting. We got a basket full of goodies. Yay. We just got back from Target, so I wanted to show you guys what we got with the two gift cards. This purchase, Wade really liked it. He said that he he thinks baby girl would love this. So we did end up investing in a wiper warmer. I was hesitant on getting this. Some of y'all said it's a must. Some of y'all said it doesn't matter. I was on the, I don't really care. Like it's either a cold wipe or a warm wipe, but Wade really wanted her to have warm wipes. So we got this little wiper warmer for her <laughs> so spoiled and then we got more newborn clothes because I told you guys we needed some so I got her some little white newborn onesies and then I got her this like fall matching set like look at all these little fall colors it's so cute and they're newborn sizes so I got her these too and then I got her this. I couldn't pass this up. I could not pass this up because, like, look at her. She's gonna be so cute in this and it's so soft. So I got her that. And then we shopped for boring stuff. Like, I got this specific bottle scrubber. So this will only be for her bottles, passies, things like that. So this is solely for her. And then I got this, like, kit to scrub her scalp and brush her hair with when she showers because I've seen a lot of people using these brushes on their newborns on like TikTok and stuff and it just seems smart so it has a soft sponge this little gentle bristle brush and then a comb so because she does have hair already she already has hair so we're gonna use this on her for bath time I got nipple butter because y'all said that's a must which also this was so expensive for this tiny two ounce thing of nipple butter. Absolutely ridiculous. If you guys know a good brand that's not super expensive for two ounces, please let me know because this was stupid. And then Wade really wanted her to have this toy. And if you pull it down, 
it like shakes so daddy really wanted to get that for her so we got that and then i got a thermometer because we don't have one yet and that's what we spent our gift card on and with the gift cards we only spent like 69 dollars so not bad i think we could have gotten more if we didn't get the white warmer but marriage is about compromise and this is what we compromised on so we got that and that's it hello you guys it is wednesday we had a doctor's appointment today everything's looking good um baby girl's head is already down which is crazy but she's still pretty high up so the doctor didn't say she was like gonna come early or anything like that and then next week we have our group b strep test which if you don't know what that is like feel free to look it up but it's just something that should be done or needs to be done i guess so we're doing that they're gonna check my cervix i think see where she's at see if i'm dilated all these fun things because we only have like four weeks left holy cow but so we had that this morning and now we're getting ready to go to the gym let me show you guys my gym fit prop you up i have this quartz oversized tee from buff bunny legacy shorts and then paired it with this like 70s reversible sports bra so that's my gym fit and today is upper body day so of course i'm going to take you guys through it and that's what we're doing today some things um i guess i can show you all some of the stuff we got it's not like the most amazing interesting grocery hauls um we did get cookies because it was buy one get one so uh we got key lime and carrot cake cookies i got some fruit wade got some yogurt i got some more fruit and avocados and potatoes what else did we get? Oh, we got some ground sirloin. I got my favorite waffles ever. These are like my go-to breakfast waffles, the Vans gluten-free protein waffles. Love them. We got weight to old milk. We got some, we got some eggs. That doesn't go in there. Okay. In case y'all didn't know, my biggest craving lately has been Lay's chips. So these were also buy one, get one. So go figure the cookies and the chips were buy one, get one, and we took advantage. Oops. That's my wallet. Honey. And then I got two cases of my favorite body armor. And we already have other sources of protein in the fridge. Like we have chicken and ground turkey in the fridge that we still have to make. We just wanted ground sirloin, I'm assuming, so he can make some patties with it later. But this was a very short grocery haul. It was really just to add to snacks and stuff that we already have here. So I'm gonna put this all away. And then I got a lot of work to do. And I forgot I'm going to a surprise birthday party at six. So I have four hours to get work done and get ready. So we gotta hustle. What 
What's up, YouTube? It's your boy here, Why Doodle. you guys just saw I was studying I'm actually working on getting my like women's specialist certification so I can you know just better serve my clients I work with pretty much all women I have a couple of male clients but yeah I just wanted to further my education so that's what I was doing is studying for that so I can get that certified and then my goal is to create a couple of more like specific programs to sell on my coaching website and things like that and obviously with baby girl coming I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of downtime like sitting and being at home so I figured what a better time than to get more educated than now but we're taking a break um, I already had my coffee for the day but Wade wants to go get some coffee and then we're gonna run to home goods because I want to look for some storage type things for baby girl's room and uh, just kind of see what they have. Home Goods normally has a pretty good selection over here by us um, if you like really dig and look for it. So we're going to go do that. I'm just throwing on some blush, some mascara, maybe fill in my eyebrows just to like feel okay with myself. But we're gonna do that and I figured I'd take you guys with us to coffee because we're going to the press and that's one of our favorite coffee places in downtown PC. Super cute. Coffee's really good, the food's good, so that's really good. So we went to well one, it's like really late in the day already it's already 4 45 we left to get coffee and then we ran into some of our friends at the coffee shop so we sat there for a few hours and was just chatting away and then we went to home goods which was super uneventful i found one thing which i guess is fine i'm keeping the tag on it in case i don't like how it looks in here but it's basically just a basket i'll show y'all this basket to put in the corner by her crib to hold extra blankets, stuffed animals, just to keep it like accessible. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, we'll see. But my project for today, for baby girl's room, is to go through this closet, throw things away, move things that need to be stored somewhere else, and then I'm gonna hang up her clothes in there. So those are my two big things today to help me feel like I'm on track with her room. So we're gonna go through and see what's in here, cause I, I think this closet's been stuffed since we moved and I don't know everything that's in there so we're gonna get to it. is cleared out. This side has a bunch of baby stuff minus two containers that are going to go to the garage eventually. But we're making progress. So I think, I think I'm in a good spot to hang up her clothes.
last day that I'm filming our week in the life. Um, it is currently 3.50, so I got a little bit of extra sleep this morning. Wade and I went to the gym. I had a leg day today. I didn't bring the camera though because I'm having like issues with my memory card and storage and things like that, so I didn't bring it, but I did share like on my story what I did on Instagram if it matters, but I didn't take you guys with me. But we are going to Hobby Lobby today because I'm really itching to get baby girl's room like basically complete. I have some things coming in next week for decoration, but at Hobby Lobby I really think I'm going to be able to find like the rest of the pieces that I want for her room just to get it together and get it off my list of things to do. And I feel like once her room is complete, like I'm just going to feel more at ease because we are at 36 weeks tomorrow which is insane. So I'll take you guys with me to Hobby Lobby and show you guys what I get. But I also thought I would take this time to talk to you guys about how I'm feeling since week 35 is pretty much done and we'll be at 36 weeks. So week 35 has been really fast. I mean, you guys were with me all week, which was new for me, but I feel like I just had something to do every single day. And as far as pregnancy goes, like, I can tell she's getting bigger. She's super active. She moves so much throughout the day, every single day, which is great. I love it. I love the little kicks and punches. I love the random, like, spastic movements. It's awesome. So she's very active. As far as cravings go, I haven't had any weird cravings. Everything's been really normal. Um, I believe I told you guys this already, but the only thing I've struggled with a lot this week is overeating or eating too fast and feeling super nauseous afterwards. So that's been kind of an adjustment for me. I also get some waves of nausea at night for some reason, which again could be me eating too late um, and it hitting me like right as I lay down. She could be in a weird position that's just not making me feel very good. It could be anything. So that's something new that I've dealt with like almost every night this week, which is pretty nuts. I am sleeping through the night. I've only gotten up to pee maybe once, like three times this week, I think. Other than that though, like she doesn't wake me up. I feel like I get a pretty restful sleep. I'm not like tossing and turning or anything like that. I will say though, come like 7.30, 8 p.m. until I go to sleep, like I am at such an extreme level of discomfort of just like I can't, I can't get comfortable unless I'm laying down to go to bed. Like I try to sit up in bed and it's like gravity just slowly pulls me down to where I realize I'm laying on my back and I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels so heavy and uncomfortable. What's going on? And sometimes like even laying on my side, like I have to adjust my belly as I turn and like give her a minute to settle because it just feels like so much. It really, it just feels heavy. That's all that it is. It just feels super heavy and uncomfortable and I feel so bad because I'll just sit there and like groan and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just, I just want to sleep and wait, like can't really do anything about it because like it's just, I guess, part of pregnancy. So that's been pretty wild. It's just the level of discomfort I feel at night mainly. Like working out feels great. Walking feels great. Like during the day, I'm fine. It's just at nighttime, it's like my body is shutting down and everything just kind of hurts. So that's not, that has not been super fun. We have our appointment next week. Well, we're actually having weekly appointments starting next week. So next week we go in for a group B test, group B strep test. Um, they're gonna check our head position again, which at our appointment this week, they checked her, her head's down, like she's chilling. She's not low yet, like I don't think she's dropped yet. She still feels pretty high up to me. So yeah, they're gonna check where her head position's at. I guess they're gonna check if like I'm getting any sort of dilation or anything. I don't know, they're gonna check things next week and I don't like people in my personal space, so I have a lot of adjusting to do mentally between now and pregnancy because I'm gonna be vulnerable to the world pushing a baby out and everybody's gonna be up in my junk and I, I, if you know me, it's just not ideal, but gotta get it done. So I have that next week and then I don't really know what else we're doing. I guess I can give you guys like weekly updates on how she's doing between now and delivery, but really it's just we're waiting and we're seeing and it's kind of exciting. I, I haven't hit any nerves yet either. Like. I'm more anxious about having things ready for her than her actually being here, 
if that makes sense. Like, I've had people ask me if I'm nervous about delivery, if I feel ready to be a mom, if I feel ready for a newborn, and it's like I haven't had any sense of anxiety or fear or nerves about actually having her here. It's more of the preparation and making sure that I have the things that I need which after this week and after a lot of like mental checks with myself and like what baby truly needs, we have everything. Um, we're getting the car seat tomorrow, or actually Wade's mom's work is getting us a car seat, which I think is the sweetest thing, like definitely a godsend and I'm so thankful. So they're gonna get us a car seat here soon. And then, I mean, she has diapers. We have milk for her. <laughs> Um, she has clothes, she has a place to sleep, and she has two parents that love her, like, she has everything that she needs. That sense of nervousness has definitely died down some, but I haven't felt any sort of anxiety or fear with the whole concept of, like, delivering her and, like, physically taking care of a newborn. Like, I feel pretty excited. I think it's just because this is, I've always wanted to do this, and I feel like I was created for this, and so maybe that's why. I feel so at ease about it. Like I'm not, I'm not panicking about anything. <laughs> like I, I haven't even thought about all the people that say the just wait things. Like I don't even think about those things. I'm just excited for her to be here. I know I'm going to miss being pregnant. I don't know how hard I'm going to miss it. That's going to be, I'm curious how that's going to be for me mentally, how much I'm going to miss being pregnant. Like I know po postpartum depression is a thing and I'm curious how that's gonna look for me, but also like I don't even know if I'm gonna really have much of that because I'm gonna be so excited with her being here. Again, like that's just me. I don't know. I'm a first time mom. All of this is super new to me. I feel pretty good and I feel excited and I feel confident that like we're gonna love her well and take care of her really well. But it's nuts you guys. I can't believe it. I feel like I've been trying to update you guys since week 13. So it's been, it's been a hot minute of keeping you guys updated with this pregnancy. It's nuts. But yeah, I guess that's like the quickest bump date I've ever given to you guys. We're literally just in the waiting game. I feel good. Baby girl's good. She's strong. We're just waiting it out. But I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna get back to work, wait till Wade gets home, and so we can go to Hobby Lobby, and we'll wrap up this week in the life vlog. Okay, you guys, so it's 8 p.m. on Friday. I totally forgot to bring y'all to Hobby Lobby, but you guys, we hit the jackpot. Everything we wanted was on sale, so I'm gonna show you what we got. So, I got this, and it's gonna go in the corner of her room by her basket of like toys and blankets, and we're gonna hang blankets on it, so that's what this is for. We got this, too. This little wall sign is just some scripture, but it's really beautiful. And I think we're gonna hang it like right as you walk into her room over there. This is the mirror we picked out for her. Okay, so it's like simple. <laughs> there y'all are. But like it goes with the flow of her room. This material like also matches all of the accent pieces. So this is gonna go up above her changing area this little thing to hang up literally like right here on the inside of the closet like maybe up here you know so I can hang like an outfit or something on it um so that's for right there and it also goes with the theme like this accent type stuff we got I got this picture frame because I saved some flowers from her baby shower that I've been drying and laying flat, like pressed flat. And I'm gonna put it in this picture frame to also hang on her wall just so we have that memory of like those flowers are from her baby shower. I got this because I feel like it's cute and matches her room. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. So I'm not taking the tags off just in case it doesn't, in case it's too much, but I got this pretty thing. I'm thinking of hanging it over by where I'm gonna like rock her and stuff, like maybe just above me, cause just to put something there. Um, a lamp should go there as well at some point. I gotta find one, but I got this too. And again, matches her theme. Lastly, I got two of these storage baskets just to put up, up top in her closet to put things in um, in case I need extra storage. So I got her two of these baskets. And that's all we got. I think it was a very successful trip for Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put things around the room where I want it to go 
And then we're just going to keep adding things. I ordered her name sign to go above her crib, which should be here soon. And then her floating shelf should be here on Monday, I think. And then I think that's really all we're doing in her room is just hanging the stuff up. Oh, I have to get storage for her closet still, but that's like, I can do that in a day. Like it's not a big deal, but that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in the life. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek of putting her nursery together. Cause like I said, this is only for people who watch my YouTube channel cause it's not on my Instagram or anything. So if you're watching, you're very special, but yeah, that's all we got. And I guess the next video will maybe be like a bump date or something. Who knows? But I'll see you guys next time.